Hey guys, so if you watched our video about how to assemble a time lapse using Lightroom, well, soon after we kind of wanted to find a way to make things go faster, easier, and maybe find a way to export everything from Lightroom as a video right away. But um, actually, it's impossible, but for now. But um, we found a plugin that would allow us, and you, if you, you know, like us, like to do time lapses uh, over time, like you know, often, uh, to make things go way faster compared to what we showed you in video. So this plugin um, is actually used by one of my favorite time lapsers, uh, Adrian Modui, we, uh, who does many, many um, you know, time lapses, uh, always you know, fantastic looking and there's a great music and all super HD. And I was surprised to actually find out that Adrian actually uses it uh, for his work all the time. So I was like, let's give it a try. So we were not paid for this, uh, by the way. Uh, we contacted the, the owner of uh, this plugin and he gave us a 15% discount for you guys if you want to get this plugin, which is not free. Um, but just so you know, there is no affiliate link. This is not, you know, a paid uh, commercial or whatever. No, it's nothing at all. We get nothing. Um, but we just wanted to discover this plugin with you. And um, mostly because we did this uh, tutorial and we want to make a kind of a follow-up. Uh, to that uh, using this plugin. So let's discover it together and let's go. So if you don't know how to install a plugin on, on Lightroom, it's pretty easy. Just go to File, Plugin Manager, and just press Add on the bottom left over there. And just select your file. That's it, just press Add, Plugin, and it's right there. Um, I did not change any settings. We don't need to, I think. And just press Done. That's pretty easy. If you go back to File and Plugin Extra, you can see the plugin right there installed already and ready to use, so it's pretty easy. Now, as you can see here, I have a bunch of files from the past year or so, like a bunch of random files. You even have Dahlia's uh, graduation um, day there. So time-lapse files and non-time-lapse files all in one. So if you go to the plugin uh, first step, which is group followed by time-lapse, you can see the plugin thing for me and it will group every file it thinks is a time-lapse by group, as I said, and discard all the other files. So normally there shouldn't be any Dahlia anymore in the, in the results. So as you can see here, we have all our time-lapse files um, grouped together. Um, just checking if there is Dahlia or not. As you can see, she's not there. So that's good uh, because she's not a time-lapse. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here is just select everything you want to work on. Uh, for this video, I'm just gonna pick one and work on it. Uh, for you and uh, as an example But um, you can just work on all the ones you want at the same time So I'm not really sure how many files I still have um, because usually I just um, Process them and just trash them afterwards So I think like a bunch of those are already in the trash sadly, but I'm gonna try to pick one that I know I have still uh, in my folder and work on that together Okay, so I have those ones. I pressed create collections so if I go to the second step of the plugin, uh, which is auto-create keyframes, what this will do is it will create a couple or more of keyframes that uh, it recognizes as you know changes of highlights, changes of um, contrast. And then if we go to the develop tab, we can only work on those two files and those will act as reference for all the other files. So those two pictures here that are keyframes now, uh, those are a bit different one another. So once we edit those two to our liking, we can use step three, uh, as you will see, to blend the settings with the hundreds of files we have to make sure everything matches, all the settings match between one another. And um, yeah, so you will see more in detail once I finish uh, editing this one. Okay, I think it's fine. Let's go to file and plugin extra once again. Step three now, which is blend settings between keyframes. So as you can see, we have the settings here and it will calculate a way to, to match all the other files together so that everything is smooth and blended together all the way. If you didn't notice on all the, the steps, it tells you a description of what to do and what it does uh, and what's next. And uh, okay, we got it, uh, okay, perfect. So now if you click on individual files, random ones, you can see that the settings have been changed. And um, each of the settings, each of the file have different settings to match a uh, median of the keyframe files. 
Now we can go to the fun step, step 4, which is the time-lapse uh, preview. Um, so we can just play the preview right away without having to open any uh, video editor and without having to wait for any loading. Uh, let's change the speed here maybe. Uh, we can just do it manually actually. So as you can see here, it looks perfectly fine, looks fantastic actually. Um, that looks great to me. So that's pretty much it. We just have to close this now and just export all the files. Uh, and that's it, I mean, just open a video editor and paste them all in one video. If you don't know how to do that, we suggest you uh, watch our tutorial, a uh, 90 second video about how to assemble a time lapse, where we show you how to assemble them all using a video editor. Thank you guys for watching, we hope this was useful to you if you often make time lapses. And if you want to purchase this, use the code GALACTICHUNTER15 at checkout, we have a link below. Uh, once again, we get zero dollars out of this, so this is honestly a fantastic plugin, and we just fell in love with it. We had no idea it even existed, so we just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, yeah, so see you next time, and class guys.